find it and we've had deep fried turkey for many years and so many people have enjoyed it and I've seen it grow quite a bit and now you can find this all over and there's a lot of different flavors but um, he did show me how to inject this and uh, there is a proper way to do it Tony Sheshery's injectable Creo style butter And this is his original seasoning. And I'm going to show you how to properly inject your turkeys. Talk a little bit about injecting hams. I've seen a lot of videos on um, injecting a turkey. But they're missing a few key steps. So let me show you right now. We'll get right into it and I'll show you the proper way to inject your turkey. Now, Tony Sheshery's has been around since 1972, and I'm not real sure how long they've been making this uh, in injectable butter. It is not real spicy. There's a slight spice, like a, a black pepper spice, so it's not as spicy as most Creole seasonings that you would think. It has more of a butter flavor, but it also has a great Creole uh, seasoning to it. Now with the inject Tony Sheshery's injectables you get the injector with it every bottle so you can use a new one each time. We often save these and use them for a lot of different things. It's really nice to get this and when you get it you'll take it out of the package. Inside the package is this uh, hollow needle that will has a, a spout here and a spout here and when you inject it the marinade will come out both sides. Now they do offer quite a few different flavors um, but I really enjoy the original butter flavor which this isn't the exact original this is a modified version from the original one um, but it's still they've improved on it. Okay now when you're injecting your turkey you, you're basically trying to add this marinade inside underneath the skin but what we don't want to do is put a whole bunch of holes in this it'll uh, a lot of the fluid will drain out there and your turkey will end up a lot drier than it could be um, the main areas are the breast which is all in through here most of this and then down in through here you're gonna want some your wings your legs and then there, we do inject some of this back meat in here and up and through the neck, back side of the wings. So we've taken all of our uh, gizzards and the neck out of the inside. Make sure you get those out, especially if you're gonna deep fry this uh, because you don't want that uh, in there while you deep fry. The first time I had this, goes along with our Thanksgiving uh, eight question tag that we were tagged by Ash Tunes. And uh, I'd say this was probably back in 19... Oh. Probably 19, let's see, 88, 89. We were getting together for a family uh, reunion like we did every year all around Thanksgiving in Tennessee. And our family would come from, a lot of them were from Tennessee, but we would meet there and my cousins from Florida and Louisiana would show up um, sometimes. And a lot of us cousins were the same age and we'd all have a good time and you know that our aunts and uncles were all, you know, family, so they enjoyed seeing each other. But um, my uncle came back, or came up, Uncle Bob, Uncle Robert, came up from Louisiana, and he's always been quite the chef. And uh, it surprised us all. He said he was going to do the turkey, and he was going to deep fry it. Nobody had ever heard about deep frying, or very few people had at that time. And... Uh, it was quite the experience to watch him um, prepare this turkey and deep fry it. 
Now he knew uh, Tony Cheshire, um somehow. I don't know how good of friends they were, but they definitely met. He brought this uh, injectable stuff up um, in a jar, and he had this in a, another jar, or he may have had this shaker, I'm not sure. But uh, I definitely went and tried to find it, and we've had deep fried turkey for many years, and so many people have enjoyed it, and I've seen it grow quite a bit. And now you can find this all over, and there's a lot of different flavors. But um, he did show me how to inject this, and uh, there is a proper way to do it. Now you wanna do as few holes as you can, and when you stick this in, remember this meat is thick so you want to get it about in the center of the meat maybe right below the skin and you'll see it kind of bubble up when you start to inject it see it blow up okay now you're gonna not just put it in one spot use the same hole and move your your syringe around and really get that flavor pretty much all over inside there as best that you can okay now after you do that see we've only got one hole and we ended up marinating almost this whole area the next and the biggest step is taking your hand and actually massaging this muscle once that marinades in there that's going to evenly distribute that marinade inside there now this is the step that I see a lot of people skip and this is probably the most important because you'll get a big batch of this in the middle of a piece and it'll be too much it'll be real wet and it's kind of sloppy the meats too over tenderized when you spread this out this really uh, makes that flavor inside that meat um, just about perfect so now it, you're gonna want to separate this if you're not going to use the whole thing because you don't want to keep sticking this in and then into this you can put this in a jar of some sort but we're going to use it all so now they also make a um, not only am I moving my my needle but I'm also spinning it so it's shooting in different directions They also make it inject a lot of uh, seasonings for ham now too, and you can do the same thing to your ham. And they have like uh, honey bacon and maple praline and a lot of really good looking flavors. So make sure you go check those out too. have a little bit come back out but you can actually work this right down into this part you didn't reach to too now you can go through and inject all this first and then do your rubbing slimy now there's not a lot of meat on this side so
they're making a lot of different flavors for the uh, turkeys too, like um, they have a jalapeno one now. I know Jan's uh, Jan over at uh, Jan's Homestead, huh? No, Jan's Homestead. Now you're going to want to do this about a day or two before you cook it. Give it a, at least 24 hours with this marinade in there. And uh, we're not deep frying them anymore. We use the uh, we use an electric deep fryer with uh, that's oilless, so it's like a convection one. And uh, you don't have to buy the oils every year, which is nice because you use it once and then we did used to have a filter you can get a filter if you're still using the oil and then after you're done turkey frying you can uh, filter it out and use it for your fish fries and stuff that's what we always used to do um, I would do the turkey first and then your fish fries after that but or we would use it for both Thanksgiving and Christmas the, the oil and then uh, I would still um, filter it out and use it, use it for my fish later in the spring. But we don't have a lot of that going on anymore, so uh, we use the electric convection one, and it works really good. And you can smoke it. It's got a little smoker box in it too. It's made by Butterball, and uh, we really enjoy it. it. Works really good. So when you get down to here, you have a hard time getting it out. Just kind of tip your bottle and I just go back through where I felt where I had a hole and just pump it full of some little more the rest wherever I think I didn't get and massage it you don't want any of that all concentrated in one area This is good in chicken, turkey of course, but you can inject your steaks, um, your pork chops, especially if you take some of this out and leave this in the fridge. Take this dry seasoning, Tony Crush and uh, Tony Cheshire's original Creole season seasoning. And uh, we're not only going to put it all over the outside, and the combination of these two are what make this, so we're also going to pour it all in the inside. Now, if you go to Tony Cheshire's website, and I'll leave a link in the description, there's also a really good recipe for uh, Creole stuffing. So, if you want kind of a more spicy Creole stuffing, you can go over to that link and check that out. Now you do want to cover it, and this is a little spicy. This is a little spicy. that sit in the fridge for at least 24 hours. Uh, I'm gonna put this up. I 
you'll have to come back to see it all cooked up. But that's the proper way to make a Creole turkey. Ooh. It's gonna be so good.